March 22nd, 1944. We were at Test Force 57 to 58. Our job was to patrol, escort the aircraft carriers, you know. And if we had a big attack, they sent their planes out after the enemy, you know. One guy, he, was, he gave me the ammunition. I gave it to this guy, and this guy, what is that? The guy was shooting at the plane, you know? In a surprise action that stunned the defenders and the Japanese homeland, a carrier task force delivers a two-day knockout blow at Truk. Well, I, I thought he got killed because he was right above me, you know, and he fell down. He got hit from the concussion, you know, from the gun, you know. He got, he got knocked out. I thought he got killed. So I had to keep give the ammunition, the four clips, you know, so to keep... Uh, the guy underneath the shoot me, you know. A ship blasted in half. At the end, they gave us the USS Franklin. That was the most expensive ship and the biggest one. And the Japs knew it. They wanted to get that ship in the worst way. Yeah. They always tried to attack that ship, and, and they sent the planes all the way. They circled us with Japanese planes all the way around. And our guns kept going like peppers, you know. <laughs> so they said, uh, when they tell you they're going to send 100 planes, they will. Towards the end, they're going to start a place. They used a few wooden planes on us. And we shot the wooden ones. So the, the guy was burning. Got a fire. He tried to come closer to our ship, you know. So we, everything got quieted down. The jets went back, they disappeared. With a wheel shot away and suffering other damage, one plane is miraculously landed by its wounded pilot. So this guy that was, he was on fire, and he was on a wood, like a wooden plane, homemade wooden plane. That's all they had, no more. They couldn't find my plane, they, they couldn't even finish the war, even if they tried. So when he got near the ship, one of the sailors threw him a rope, you know, and he jumped, he jumped off that plane while it was burning. He was burning too a bit. And he, he grabbed the rope and he, he was he was pulled up the ship, you know, to get him on top, you know. The enemy's big mystery naval base in the Carolines is no longer a mystery. They got to try to reach out to grab him, you know, to bring him in, you know. The sailor that threw him the rope. He reached out to get him like that, and that son of a bitch stabbed him with a knife. He killed him. He killed the sailor. And the, and the other guys brought the guns, you know. You know, let's shoot that son of a bitch. And the captain said, no, no. We ain't supposed to do that. Don't shoot him. We're going to take him in now. And take him, take him on a fence, you know, And we're going to question him. Everything that he knows. And that's, that's what he took. We never found out what happened to him. How they killed him, what they done to him. But they were, they, they got rid of him. An heroic victory and a death blow to the Japs' pride.